The power of healing rests inside our body. And health care is not something that we need to rely on when we go to the doctor's office, right? Every year you go once. Health care is everything in between that we do for ourselves. And food is a medicine that we take. Who would like some dessert? Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a revolutionary leader who champions food as your ultimate stem cell power source. Dr. Lee believes the key to unlocking your body's natural potential for cellular renewal lies in the power of plant-based ingredients. Dr. Lee focuses on specific ingredients with the power to activate your body's own repair system on a cellular level. Think of him as a culinary alchemist, transforming your dessert plate into a landscape of deliciousness that nourishes your body at a cellular level. Today, we're going to show you how to unlock the power of food to create delicious desserts that are actually good for you. The five delicious Dr. Lee inspired desserts packed we are about to explore are packed with stem cell boosting power. We'll show you how to create these satisfying and flavorful treats that not only tantalize your taste buds, but also support your body's natural regeneration process. First, Dr. Lee will tell us a bit about a few ingredients in the first dessert. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Yes, I know. I know. Straight dessert. to dessert. Gotcha. Blackberries, one of my favorites. They are a great source of vitamin C and dietary fiber, which is good for your gut bacteria, which means it's good for your immunity. And they taste great any time of the day. Next ingredient. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. And now for the first stem cell boosting dessert. One. Blueberry and chia seed pudding with toasted nuts. Ingredients. Chia seeds soaked overnight or at least 15 minutes in unsweetened plant-based milk such as almond milk, macadamia nut, or oat milk for a pudding base. Next, layered with a mix of fresh blueberries and blackberries for antioxidants. Top with a sprinkle of chopped tree nuts and an optional drizzle of honey for a touch of sweetness. Why it's stem cell savvy. Chia seeds provide protein and fiber, while berries are packed with antioxidants. Nuts contribute healthy fats, and honey which is optional adds a touch of natural sweetness. So who wants dessert? Now, Dr. Lee will tell us something interesting about a few ingredients in the second dessert. Now I'm going to throw one last kind of delight and surprise that can help your stem cells, which help to rebuild your brain and your heart and your muscles, actually is dark chocolate. Turns out, chocolate's a candy, okay, it's a confection. But to make dark chocolate, you have high amounts. 70%, 80%, 90% cacao. Cacao is actually from a seed pod, the cacao plant. And that's a plant-based food. It turns out there's natural chemicals, bioactives in cacao, made in dark chocolate in high concentrations that help our stem cells come out and rebuild our muscles, our circulation, many other parts that need to be renewed. And as we get older, one of the things we want to do is we want to continuously be renewed rather than broken down. These are some of the ways that we think about diet and longevity. Next ingredient. Goji berries also can actually reprogram stem cells. And goji berries, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's one, of the, it's one of those continuum, like, you know, you hear, these days you hear a lot about these medicinal um, foods that have been used in Asia for years, like cordyceps mushrooms, which I saw in the marketplace the other day. It's really cool. Um, but goji berries are something, uh, very common as an herbal medicine and i think that one of the things that we need to remember is that when we're borrowing and exploring uh fascinating food substances that have been used traditionally for thousands of years as medicine in other cultures we should be just a little cautious that this doesn't mean that we can just be playing around with the substance but goji berries you know which i you know i love to put goji berries in tea 
um, if you if you mix it with goji berries with tea put a date you know a dry date in there uh, put some uh, chrysanthemum flower in there you kind of create this really nice herbal tea tea you can put um, oolong tea or black tea you know so you can you can you can actually find ways to um, extract some of these natural substances goji berries have um, bioactives like uh, lutein and zeaxanthin which is good for your vision um, but some of these substances also reprogram your fat stem cells as well. And now for the second stem cell boosting dessert. 2. Dark Chocolate and Goji Berry Bark Ingredients Melted dark chocolate at least 70% cacao spread on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Scattered with dried goji berries for a burst of antioxidants and a touch of sweetness. Refrigerate until set, then break into pieces. Why it's stem cell savvy? Dark chocolate boasts antioxidants and healthy fats, while goji berries offer additional antioxidants. Okay, who's ready for dessert? Dr. Lee will now tell us something special about a few ingredients in the third dessert. All right, and berries. They are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them. Uh, I, I, that's why candies, I just, there are, are candies that are shaped like berries, right? So the, the, the thing about berries though, is that they are a great source of vitamin C. They've got great antioxidants. They also have these polyphenols and, and dietary fiber as well, of course. You know, this is where all, not all calories are the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars, which are most for most people, your body can actually tackle. You're getting all this other benefits uh, that, that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it. Right. So that's the key thing. Sugar isn't all sugar because the thing that is contained in is going to be different. Next ingredient. Pecans. I love these because you can eat them as a snack, sprinkle them to a salad or bake with them. And they've got fiber and omega-3 fats that support immunity. And now for the third stem cell boosting desserts. 3. Baked Sweet Potato with Berries and Nuts Ingredients Baked Sweet Potato for complex carbohydrates and beta-carotene. Mash slightly and top with a mix of chopped berries such as blueberries and raspberries. Then add a sprinkle of chopped walnuts or pecans, optional. Drizzle with a touch of maple syrup for a touch of sweetness. Why it's stem cell savvy. Sweet potato provides complex carbohydrates and vitamin A, while berries offer antioxidants. Nuts contribute healthy fats, and maple syrup, which is optional, adds a touch of natural sweetness. Now, who's got room for dessert? <laughs> now, Dr. Lee will now tell us a bit about a few ingredients in the fourth dessert. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites. Tasty, juicy, sweet. You get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. Next ingredient. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I want to show you a fruit that is worth knowing about. These are plums. Look, there's a whole basket of them. Now plums have a bioactive called ferulic acid. Ferulic acid improves their circulation and studies in the lab have shown that it actually decreases neurodegeneration, which can actually improve cognitions. And now for the fourth dessert. Four, mango and spinach smoothie bowl. Ingredients. Blended frozen mango for sweetness and vitamins. Add blended spinach for a hidden dose of greens and antioxidants. Pour it into a bowl and top with chopped fresh fruit like peaches or plums for added vitamins. Add a sprinkle of chia seeds for protein and fiber. Why it's stem cell savvy. Mango offers vitamins and sweetness, while spinach adds a hidden dose of greens and antioxidants. Other fruits contribute additional vitamins, and chia seeds provide protein and fiber. Dessert! Yeah. 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 Dr. Lee will now tell us something special about a few ingredients in the final dessert. 
Who hasn't heard of the benefits of green tea? We know tea has polyphenols, they're called catechins. We know one of the catechins is called EGCG. It's actually really, really good for you. Not only does it cut off the blood supplies to help starve cancers, not only is it anti-inflammatory, uh, not only does it help protect your stem cells so you can regenerate from the inside out, the, the, the fiber in green tea and some of the catechins, the catechin itself is actually a prebiotic helps to nourish your, nourish your gut microbiome, take your gut bacteria, make it happy. It's antioxidant, good for your DNA, stimulates your immune system. It turns out when it comes to your body fat, the catechin that actually fights white fat. It actually helps you actually lose some of the subcutaneous jiggly stuff. But more importantly, it actually helps you lose visceral fat, the harmful baseball glove fat that can be trapped even inside a skinny body. So the bottom line is that green tea drinkers just metabolically are healthier. Next ingredient. Blue comes from blueberries. Their beautiful blue color comes from a natural dye called anthocyanin. That's an antioxidant that protects your DNA, helps build your immune system, and also improves your metabolism as well. And now for the final dessert. Five, green tea panna cotta with berries. Ingredients. Made with simmered plant-based milk such as almond milk macadamia milk or oat milk and green tea bags for a subtle tea flavor and a touch of agar agar for setting pour into molds and chilled topped with a fresh berry compote by heating blueberries blackberries and or raspberries then mash them with a potato masher why it's stem cell savvy green tea offers antioxidants while plant-based milk provides a creamy base berries in the compote contribute antioxidants and a touch of sweetness please give us a thumbs up Share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.